Hi, and welcome to the Grayscale Draw YouTube channel. In the next few videos that I'm going to upload, I will reveal to you the drawing process of the two-point interior perspective from scratch to finish, with clean line, values or grayscale, colors, light and shadows, including the process that I used to create the character design because I'm going to insert in the scene two characters. So, starting from the scratch. I'm trying in here, in the current video, to make a rough sketch of an interior. I'm using a custom brush that I created and it's a type of brush that imitates the traditional old school pencil line and uh, it kind of gives to me a more natural feeling of the line and it has been really comfortable to use. In the first 4 minutes or so, I try to develop the rough sketch by capturing the atmosphere of the interior that I want to create, placing all the main objects in the scene, trying to figure out the composition and the perspective, and after that the mood by adding tones, lights and shadows. This drawing is also part of the rural scenes from the mountain collection that I spoke of in the previous video where I give more information about the concept behind the collection. This interior is located in one of the buildings that I created in the first animation, here on the channel, the one that I called the heart of the mountain, and is the greenhouse in the center of the scene. Ok, as I said I began by putting every piece of the main furniture in its spot. I was using mainly my imagination trying to recreate from memory the way my grandparents house was organized inside. But I also used a lot of Pinterest reference and uh, even changed a few things that I considered that were going to define a lot better the mood that I was trying to describe. By the way, the name of this piece, being part of the mountain collection and trying to correlate with it, is Resting Mountain. And mainly the name has to do with the subject and the scene itself. That is the reason why I choose a static scene, indoor, at night, because what says rest better than a still image with a cozy atmosphere and a warm light? The other pieces of work that I uploaded from, the, from this collection are animations, so they are in motion, as they are aimed to describe actions. Even in the heart of the mountain, I choose to animate it because I try to give it the rhythm of the beating heart by reinterpreted by the sound of uh, the Seth being uh, stuck by the hammer. Anyway, back to what's happening on the screen. I'm almost done with the rough sketch and I'm pretty happy about it. I'm going to keep the relative position of the objects as it is in the following stages. So the scene is composed of, uh, let's see, the, a bed that is pretty high, a chest where my grandma used to sit in the nights where we all were gathering around by the light of the oil lamp. Speaking of which, I'm going to insert an oil lamp also and it will have a main role in the scene, being the main source of light and I'm going to put it in a privileged composition space. You can find in there also a bench, a table, a chair and a fireplace that will be the second source of light and some other small objects. To create the accurate perspective grids, I used the polygon tool. You can find more information and step-by-step -step tutorials about that here on YouTube. After the rough sketch of the atmosphere, I was going further establishing the perspective of the interior by placing the two vanishing points. After I determined where to put them, I continue to redraw the basic forms of the object according to the perspective construction, all of which is pretty basic. After that, I go further and further into the drawing, first using large 
basic volumes and then zooming in to start adding details. As I said, I'm going to keep the position of the objects, which I'm satisfied with, and I'm going to detail them. In this stage, where I'm defining the perspective, I also detail the floor planks and the ceiling with all the beams and planks. In order to accurately follow the perspective, I choose to draw some of the elements in 2D, like in um, elevation view, and afterwards uh, distort them with the transform tool. After I define the big shapes of the main furniture, I move further to create the, the small objects, the one that really brings the space to life. So on the left wall we have a mirror, a pin cushion, and later on I'll put a clock alongside them and a candle. I choose to put the ladder in the front of the window in a symbolic gesture because one of the characters has passed away, my grandmother to be more specific. On the center wall, as the main element, uh, I put the, the door, the single open door in the scene, and there are two reasons why I choose to open this one. First being, let's say, of a more technical nature, because the other two doors in the scene do not reveal much space behind them because of the angle of the doors in a relation with the observer's point of view. And the second reason is related to the interest that this space presents. Behind this door is not an ordinary room, it's the pantry where you can find all sorts of things, dry sausages, a smoked pork knuckle, bacon and bags of cereals. On this wall we have also a crucifix and two frames that are enclosing the portraits of my grandparents. Further on there will be also six more frames on the left wall representing the kids, two boys and four girls. On the right wall are a few pieces of furniture, some shelves, two heads and some tableware. From the main beam of the ceiling I hung up some pans, the oil lamp and uh, plate in the form of a decoration. You can find this type of plate decoration in pretty much all the traditional Romanian households. Below on the floor I put some carpets, boots and uh, firewood grid and two small chairs used by the characters to reach the small objects uh, placed on the ceiling and a basket of potatoes as it represents their main food. Also, there are other small elements with which I used to adorn the scene. That being said, I'll let you continue watching the video and I hope you enjoy it. Goodbye.